Hi, thank you so much for joining me. In this video segment, I want to talk um, particularly about the units that we have to do when we apply the mathematics for gas laws. Uh, the gas laws involve a constant uh, that demands particular units. So we're going to focus in on that. Whenever you do problems in chemistry, one of the first things you want to do is check your units. Um, many teachers will have you put the units within the calculation just to make sure that they cancel. And I think that's a great practice. I myself find that a little bit too um, cumbersome, uh, too much writing for me. So I usually write down my givens. I use the, the guess method. Write down my givens, check my units, write my equation, and then I substitute and solve. Or you can solve and then substitute. That has a lot of value to it as well. So that's the guess method. And a key part of that are units. So pressure is a force per unit area. And we're going to be using derived units for that. The SI unit for this is the Pascal. Now, a Pascal, again, is a derived unit. It's kilograms times meters per second squared is a Pascal. Those are all the SI units, the pure SI units. Now, other units that would be actually more common, you don't always have to use SI. A Pascal is quite small, so it's common to use kilopascals. You will see atmospheres, and in the United States, tor is used fairly extensively, or in particular, millitor. And so those are some other units you'll use. For volume, our SI unit is the meter cubed. Um, other units, common units you're going to come across is a decimeter cubed, which is identi identical sorry, to a liter, and a centimeter cubed, which is identical to a milliliter. So those are the common ones you'll use there. Gas laws. I don't want you to think of any other unit besides Kelvin. Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin. Uh, I would say one of the most common things I see is students trying to use degrees Celsius instead of Kelvin. Uh, degrees Celsius aren't a physical, me physically meaningful unit because uh, they can be negative. Remember, kinetic energy or temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy kinetic energy has to be a positive value, positive math, anything squared is positive, and uh, therefore temperature has to be positive, which is why we use our Kelvin units. And the amount we'll be using is moles. Now there are times we will substitute moles for mass over molar mass, because that's mathematically equivalent, whoops, to moles is mass over molar mass. So, pay very, very close attention to our units. Uh, there are times where you will simply have to match units on both sides of the equation, and there are times when the constant involved will demand that you use particular units. So, zero in, focus on those units. Now, some important things to remember or to learn if you haven't yet. Here's the formula for going from Kelvin, uh, between Kelvin and degrees Celsius, okay? These are the conversion factors for pressure. Notice that a millimeter mercury is the same as a tor. 760 equals 760. Sometimes you'll see a two here. People round up or round down. Um, but those are your uh, main constants. And what is quite common to see is something called standard temperature and pressure. Most schools, most colleges and high school are using an older standard pressure and we will stick to that. 
it's one atmosphere so every single one in this line those are all standard pressures uh, you can you probably won't use PSI much but it links it to your tires for example it gives us some commonality or, or prior knowledge there all of those can be used as a standard pressure it's one atmosphere that has changed uh, recently but uh, until you get into IB or if you get into IB you won't use anything other than that and then zero degrees Celsius since we're not going to do any math with zero degrees Celsius you might want to memorize that standard temperature is 173 whoops 173.15 Kelvin okay so 15 I'll tell you what I do if my Celsius temperature ends at the one place, I just use the 273. If it goes to the tenths or the hundredths, I use the 0.15. And um, typically with most of your math and your answers, you'll be close enough if you just go with the plus 273 there. Okay, thanks for joining me. I know units can be a little dry, uh, but they're so critical uh, in science. There are very few. There are a few, but there are very few naked numbers. Most numbers have a unit associated with them. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate your time.